Hi everybody, welcome back. I've just done a pour with a black base and some iridescent colours on top, Dutch pour, um, and it didn't work. So I scraped the canvas and I've got this really beautiful kind of sparkly charcoal grey black um, paint mixed. Um, so I'm going to use that for a base. I'm going to do another Dutch pour. I'm going to go back to basics a little bit and do more of the sort of S-shape Dutch pour and just try and get a, a, a beautiful design just based on the, the curve and the flow of the paint. Um, so let me show you the colours I'm using. These are the colours that I'm going to use. So five colours, four of which are iridescent. So iridescent, Pebio iridescent green yellow, red blue, gold um, and that gold is the iridescent gold by Pebby I think um, and then silver and then this one is Amsterdam ultramarine violet so this is the black that I've got left over so I don't know if you can see that sparkle I think you just about can so this was the paint that was just I scraped from my worktop for the last pour so it was a black base but with lots of iridescent colors in the pour um, there's not loads there's just some and I think I can probably make that stretch um, for this canvas so all these paints are Dutch pour consistency so mixed with flood flow troll and water so that's my base covered and um, it's got a really really pretty sparkle to it um, it's quite subtle, but it's just slightly lighter than than black. It's just slightly more charcoal-y. Um, I've just gone along the edges and just dabbed all the edges with paint, so that so I've got all the drips, um, or where the bits where there weren't, where it didn't drip, all the bare canvas. Right, so in this colour scheme, I've basically got a red and a green, and that's dangerous because that's going to make brown. So I want to keep try and keep those separate. Um, I like, I really, really like the gold. So I would quite, no, sorry, the green. So I would quite like that reasonably near the top of the paint, of the, of the paint. Um, let's just have a little think about the order. Okay, I'm going to go for silver, red, purple, green, then gold on top. Right, so my idea, I think, is just to do a really gentle S shape across the canvas. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect and I won't do it perfectly smooth. I will probably do it slightly wiggly. Yeah, like that. Happy with that. Wow, that looks beautiful. Those colours are gorgeous. I guess a lot of people would be tempted to leave out the green because it's just so contrasting, but I'm afraid I like the contrast. I like the brightness of it. So happy with that so far. So my idea is to blow this out from the centre. In fact, it's not central at all. Just tilt that slightly. OK, so that's roughly the centre. So my idea is to try and blow this bit around this way and then this bit up around here. So from the centre. Right, kind of like that, but I've messed up the middle. I'm not happy with that centre at all. Right, I think I can work with that.
Right, I've just fiddled with the edges and I'm loving it. Absolutely love the flow, the composition. Um, however, I quite like a little bit more symmetry. The bit, the only bit that's standing out as totally different to me is this amazing collection of cells here. I just wish I had them here. So I'm go what I'm going to try and do is put just a little bit of the colour here and try and blow that black over it just to try and see if I can create some cells. Um, really not sure whether it will work. If it doesn't work, I'll just scrape that little bit. But in this section here, all I've got is the silver, the red and a tiny bit of gold. So I'm just I'm just going to just put a little bit on just to see if I can create some little bit of interest just at that point. So that took several attempts, as you saw, several times doing this little bit here, but I'm now happy. It doesn't match symmetrically and perfectly, but it's as good enough. Um, beautiful section of cells here. This is probably is my favourite section. It's so pretty. And now you don't have exactly the same, but you just have some cells and a little bit more interest over this side. It doesn't need to be spot on. It doesn't need to be exactly the same. But if you can just see now, uh, let me focus it, it kind of curves around here subtly. And now you've got the curve around here. Less subtle, but less cells. So I think that works. So you've got this beautiful sort of S shape. Um, the colours are beautiful. There is no brown. Um, they have blended, but just, just to the right amount, they work so well. I don't know if you can see this sparkle, but it is beautiful. It's so, so sparkly. Um, and I just think that works so well on a black base. Um, I just love how feathery it is in the centre. I love all these little undulating edges where I've blown in, um, blown to into the black area. And then again, some more beautiful cells. I think there's a really good balance of cells and then the plain colours um, on this really pretty sparkly base. Even that is really pretty. So you've got, oh, sorry, I can't focus it. The silver and a little bit of the iridescent red blue. Really, really happy. It's just quite simple, um, but quite effective. So I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. Um, as you probably know, if you watch my channel, watch other videos, I'm not normally a fan of negative space. And I normally like just the crazy busyness over the whole canvas. So this is entirely different. And I'm so happy with it. I love it. It's just so simple and elegant. The colours give that real vibrant pop and that real um, sort of adventurous side, I think, to the painting. But it's still got that beautiful, elegant gentle flow to it which is quite uncharacteristic of my paintings um that's my favorite little section again that little section of cells came out beautifully um a few other odd cells spotted around that one there looks a bit like an eye i think with a little sparkle in the in the pupil um cut the fact the color scheme is just fab absolutely love it really happy with this really beautiful wispiness um i really like having just little wispy edges to a painting um that section there is really beautiful as well beautiful colors um there and then there were the little extra cells i added and the wispiness um the base is like a charcoal gray now it's totally lost its sparkle um oh I'm just going to turn the ping off. Excuse me, that's my lunch ready. The yeah, the base has totally lost its sparkle, but the iridescence here is beautiful. So if I show you here, you can just see that silver, the pinky colour, the gold, the green. Everything is really iridescent, really beautifully sparkly. Um, the black. I wonder when it when I varnish it whether it will actually show some of the sparkle again because it's. It's looking very matte at the moment, but once it's varnished, it may bring back a little bit of that sparkliness. Um, yeah, so really happy. It's so different. 
so um more so sort of natural soft elegant as i said not what i normally do but really pleased to to tr do something different to normal um, let me know what you think what do you think of this style um do you think this works um yeah let me know if you want to me to do another one of these this, this similar style great thanks so much for watching take care everyone bye